If you want to blow up your team fast, then be, be sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you a, ch a weekly checklist that will get you results. And if you're new here, click the subscribe button and I uh, will get started. So I find that the first thing in the morning, it's best to do engagement marketing. And I'll go through that and talk about exactly what that is. But um, so you'll wanna, on a piece of paper or a calendar or a, you know, a planner, have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way, you know, every day of the week to where you can make notes under it. And then engagement marketing is easier to do in the morning. So you'll want to uh, comment, connect, react on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And I usually give it about 10, 15 minutes. Um, then you'll want to go to three to five Facebook groups. If you're really ambitious, you can do 10 um, and then another 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes on that, just commenting, connecting, uh, reacting, engaging. And then you'll want to uh, go to three to five uh, Instagram hashtag groups. So you put in the hashtag, you can put in um, entrepreneurs, uh, network marketers, multi-level marketers, um, you know, you pick hashtags, you go to three to five Instagram accounts that are in alignment, spend about 10 to 15 minutes um, reacting, commenting, and engaging. And then uh, you can actually go into stories on Facebook um, or Instagram and you can do the same thing. So 10 to 15 minutes on all of those. First thing in the morning, you just shoop, go through and then you're done with that part. So this way, if you do it in the morning, you're not having to keep checking in and be at your computer all day long. And I find that to be more effective. If you find that you want to check in, then, you know, after five, say in the evening, you can repeat that process. But I just do it first thing in the morning. And then if you do it every morning, then you're keeping consistent with them. And the next thing is attraction marketing. So I talk about, um, you want to post content um, onto two to three social media channels. And I think that every day, it's good to do every day. Um, and the easiest way that I can, I do three channels at once is that I post a video on YouTube like this. And then immediately after you publish it, you can share it on um, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, you can just blast it out and then you're actually doing more than two to three social media channels. Um, then you can um, share those on Facebook, like I just said. So you can do you can do the one video and blast it out and then you can do an image and just a written, post with that image on Facebook. That's what I find to work. So you'll want to do two to three Facebook groups. So um, you can actually share it directly from YouTube and then you can go on your personal profile on Facebook and put an image and a little write up and then you can share that also on Facebook groups. So you're kind of blasting a bunch out with the same content. And then uh, you can go into stories, three to five stories and um, do the same thing. So that would be the attraction marketing. So you can actually upload videos um, as stories and do them that way. Or you can take your post, your image post and, sh and share it as a story right after you publish it on Facebook to save time. So um, that will take just a few minutes to shoot a video. I would do a 10, five to 10 minute video. So, um, and then putting it on, putting it everywhere just takes a few minutes. So then you'll want to, um, there's the growth, the business growth, the action to grow your business. You'll want to spend time inviting uh, one to three people to look at your opportunities. So you can do this by um, direct messaging people and 
It can be as simple as the script of, have you seen this yet? Check it out. Or if it's someone that you know a little more, you know, we have scripts, warmer scripts that are saying, you know, I thought of you. Um, take a look at this video and let me know what you think. Or I've just, you know, joined this uh, game-changing opportunity to make money online. Is this something that you'd want to take a look at? If so, let me know. And then you can kind of do it that way. So, you know, that's three different ways you can do it. But if you reach out to one to three people and invite them every day, then you'll want to follow up with them, follow up with the people that you talked to three days ago or a day ago. You know, you'll have to kind of keep track of that. That's why you have the days of the week lined out. So you say, I invited this person this day, and then you know to follow up with them the next day or, you know, kind of how you can decide how you want to do that. You don't want to wait too long to follow up with them. I usually give them a day and then I'll follow up with them. So you kind of, you'll be inviting three, following up with three every day. And then you'll want to check in to check in with one to three people that are already on your team, see how they're doing, see, you know, where they might be getting caught, find out, you know, let them kind of talk about what, what's going on for them, good or bad, and uh, see how you can support them. Ask them how you can support them. And, you know, you can share this with them so that they have action steps or, you know, you can just listen to them and then say, okay, so where can we um, go from here? That sort of thing. So check in with one to three people on your team, ideally every day, every other day. Um, and then you'll document every action that you do on that day that you do it. And then you want to spend some time every day in personal growth, whether it's books or a podcast or audios. And if you're driving, you know, 10 to 30 minutes anywhere, you can just pop in an audio or put a uh, podcast on that's feeding you with positive information or, you know, listening to leaders, listening to um, anyone that's going to help you develop more as a leader, as um, a high income earner. And then also you'll want to read 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, you can also do this on like Audible if you want to listen while you're working out or um, so you can move these around and you can multitask. Um, or you can read, you know, at night before going to bed or first thing in the morning with the mor uh, morning miracle morning. So whatever the most convenient time for you is, but I find that during drives can be an excellent opportunity to do this. And then you're going to be more likely to continue and be consistent with it. So, but you definitely want to spend, um, you know, 30 minutes on audio and 30 minutes on reading some type of personal development. So an hour a day on personal development, but you don't want to stop your income producing action to stop and read a book for an hour and a half, you know, so you want to find a way to do it when you want to do your income producing action first and then do your personal development around that or you know like I said when you're driving or working out perfect or eating you can do it then as well and so and then you want to keep track of these you want to keep track of them because it keeps you accountable um, if you're if you're part-time you can do you know maybe not every day or you can spend just a very small window of one to two hours. And I believe that you can do all of this in two hours. So if you can block off two hours every day, you can still be part-time in this. If you're full-time, you can just go for it, you know, and do it two times a day if that's what you want. Um, you're going to see larger numbers the more that you put out. You're just, you're going to see results from these if you're consistent. So you don't want to do a lot one day and then skip three days and then do a lot. Trust me, I've done this and it's not effective. 
and people don't take you seriously and it just makes you seem like you're all over the place. So if you want a million dollar business, then you have to treat it like that, treat it like a million dollar business and be devoted to it every single day. It doesn't have to be all day long. And that's the beauty of this industry. So one to two hours, blast out, focused energy, and you, you'll see results. But um, definitely try to do every day if you can. And the other thing is that, you know, corporations and businesses, they never stop inviting people. They never stop marketing. And so if you want a million dollar business, if you want even this to be a full-time income to replace your job right now, then you can never stop inviting. You can never stop marketing because every business, I don't care who it is, is constantly inviting people to join them, is constantly marketing, is constantly getting the word out. I mean, you can look at commercials and see how many times you're going to see Geico, how many times, you know, you're going to see, um, these commercials over and over because they never stop. So you want to try to set goals for every day and hit those targets every day. And whatever number that you choose, you know, if you start out big and then you find yourself getting overwhelmed, then take a breath and kind of reevaluate your goals for the day. But if you set those goals, you want to try and hit them. That's going to keep you moving up and up and up and continuously putting energy into your business, which will give you energy out of your business. And so you're going to be, some days you'll have tons of energy and you'll be able to give 210%. Some days it'll be zero, but you, you want to always, no matter how you're feeling, put in that daily activity. So you want to at least be putting in, you know, everything that we've gone over today, spend 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, no matter how you're feeling, just put that in. Now your energy level might be at different levels and that's okay. You know, um, it's okay to feel any way that you're feeling and keep doing the action. Um, so try to take the expectations off of yourself and the perfectionism, just let it go and do it anyway. And you'll have blocks come up, you know, that's the nature of the world. That's the nature of this biz, this industry. It will bring things up that are, have limited you your whole life. And so allow those to come up. If you need to take a breather, if you need to just release some frustration, do that. And then just get back and just take the actions and it's okay. It's okay to not be 210% every day. Obviously that's how you want to feel. And when you start getting results, you actually feel that boost more. So, um, but if you're not, just don't, don't put so much pressure on yourself. Just try to do you know, these little blocks, do one at a time, check it off, do the next, check it off, check it off, check it off. And you will find yourself feeling more confident and feeling better, just more, just better about yourself. Each time that you make that check, it boosts your, your feel good. It boosts your confidence. And then it just, you get on this upward spiral in your business and people feel that. And you become more attractive to other people. So the attraction marketing really starts to work for you. And I've seen this on both sides. I've seen it when I haven't been putting consistent action in. And when I've been letting my energy levels stop me or my, you know, limited belief system stop me. I've seen how it kind of goes down. And then I've seen how good it feels to actually be consistent and putting that in and the results. And so then you want to kind of also set goals of who do you want to attract? Get really clear on who you want to be in business with. Um, you know, it, you know, I've gotten very specific about 
the, the women that I want to work with. I love working with men too, but I just really got specific about who do I want to be hanging out with and going on vacations with. And so get clear about that and it helps you when you go into social media to be your brand because how do you, you know, the next question is how do you start showing up as that brand, like that person that you want to attract? And then when you're being that and you're putting out content that is in alignment with that type of person, then it's, you'll find them, they start to come to you more. And this is an art that I am still working on, you know, and it's continually uh, evolving. But so just kind of sit down for a minute or two and, and think about it. Who do I want to attract? Who do I want in my business? Who do I want to be engaging with on a daily basis? And then start seeing how you can be that and how you can be that brand out, you know, that's going out to everyone in your social media. And then you'll want to create content and connect with followers, connect with other groups that are like-minded and you know, you'll make friends. You because when you start calling in who you really want to be around, it's easy to want to be friends with them. And so you start expanding your friend circle and then you can you know, they will continue to be your friends and your family as they join your team and you work with them on an ongoing basis. So um, it becomes really natural when you do it this way instead of just blasting out to everyone and get in my business, get in my business. That's not my style because honestly, I don't want just everyone in my business. I, I like to be selective and I, I'm looking for winners. I'm looking for successful people already that already have a mindset of yes let's do this so um i don't want to get too long into this but um i also want to go over that the uh content percentages because um this i learned later on after doing it all wrong and still and learning so on social media you want especially facebook i notice and instagram but you want 50% of your posts to be lifestyle. So including people in what you're doing. So I went swimming the other day and I did a video. Hey, I'm swimming, you know, here's the, and they see it in the background. I saw someone else um, sharing that they found a good deal at Goodwill and, you know, they posted it. And I thought that was really fun. You know, people are like, oh, I'm having coffee. And so 50% should be about what you're doing in the day, so you're including them in your life. 40% uh, 40 40 should be value, providing value. And that can be motivational quotes, that can be, uh, you know, it's something that's inspiring. That can be something about uh, teaching them about your product, teaching them about the um, company, the, you know, whatever it is that you feel like is valuable, you can share that. It can be something that you learned on your podcast that day that you feel would help other people so you can learn it um, and then you can share it. So you invest, learn, and teach when you're doing personal development. So you're investing your time in listening to a podcast, then you learn it and then you teach it. You can share it in a video and that can be that 40% of providing value for your ideal customer. So you always wanna be in the mindset of that person that you're wanting to attract because that's your ideal. And then what would they like, you know? Do you wanna have women that like to shop? Do you wanna have health conscious women that you're attracting, you know? And think about what they would like, provide value for them. And then 10% of your posts are showing results of, of how you've helped people um, achieve their goals. So, you know, this can even be before and after pictures of people who have used your product or, you know, people that you've helped reach a goal on your team. Um, just any proof that you've had of um, how you've helped people achieve their goals. It can be showing you how your team is growing, you know, showing the numbers. And um, so anyway, 10% is that. So I hope that this is helpful and 
You know, I'm sharing all of this with you because I learned it after doing it all wrong for quite a while. So um, anyway, this has gone on longer than I thought it would, but I'm doing a 90 day blast, 90 days of this week by week. And I'm also gonna kind of go into more of like the 90 day protocol that helps and to help kind of keep you on track. So you can see, okay, that didn't work, let's do this. Um, and I'm gonna be sharing that in another video, but if, you, if you're in Live Good, then I hope this is helpful. If you're not in Live Good yet, it's the most amazing and I think the best company out there right now, membership model, membership that pays you. You can get paid without recruiting. I don't know anybody that's doing that. So get on board. I'm putting the link under this video so you can see it and uh, join. Join today, it's awesome. And I hope you guys have a fabulous week.